Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Ali Talibi and this is lesson four from module 20, risk management. So the last lesson we talked about options and I promise I'm going to talk more about options and in this lesson, we're going to talk about the options strategies. So we'll talk about some strategies which you can use to minimize the risk or increase the potentiality of making money. And also I will talk about put call parity and how you can find arbitrage opportunity if the put call parity uh, doesn't hold. So let's start our session. So the first strategy I'm going to refer is called protective put. So if you expect that the prices are going down or if you're afraid that the price the stock price is going down so you can apply or can use uh, this strategy which is called protective put so what you do you're actually combining buying the stocks with buying the uh, put option for the underlying asset for the same stock so in other words you are protecting yourselves against the downside risk so if you look at the graph it's showing that actually how it works so the blue arrow here is showing the uh, your return for the uh, asset which here is your stock so as the price is going up so your potential to make money is for sure unlimited so you can make more money and uh, as the price the stock price is going down you see that uh, you are actually losing money uh, your return will be negative if you look at the orange one uh, it's showing uh, your return uh, or profit for the uh, put option and so you own the put option which means that you have the right to actually sell the underlying asset so as the prices are going down you are happier because you can sell at the same specific price which is called exercise price if the prices are going up so you are unhappy because you will lose at as much as the option price and you won't exercise your uh, put option now let's combine uh, those blue and orange uh, arrows and the combination uh, gives you the green arrow which means you see on the downside the maximum you can lose is as much as the option uh, price or premium however as the prices are keeping up you can gain potentially unlimited uh, profit so your return is unlimited uh, but the downside risk is uh, protected is limited as much as the option price so that's one strategy you might choose if you're afraid that the specific stock is going down so this is called protective put another strategy is called uh, protective call very similar to the put but this time actually uh, you are mainly focusing on the uh, call option so what you do actually you are buying the call option but you are selling the underlying asset so you are selling the stock in other words you are taking the short position on the stock but uh, at the same time you are buying the call option so uh, why you are doing why you are using protective call if you want to protect yourselves against rising the prices if you are afraid the prices are going up you can use this this is mainly uh, used for uh, commodities you maybe you don't use this main, uh, for the stock but this uh, this can use in any other underlying asset this is very common strategy when it comes to commodity if you're afraid that the specific uh, prices are going up so you want to protect yourselves against any uh, increase in the price of the underlying asset so similar argument so the here you talk about the uh the selling a stock so when you are selling or taking the short position uh, as much as the prices are going down so you are happy so you are making uh, money here so uh the uh, actually here the orange one is showing the underlying risk exposure so lower prices you see that the profit is higher higher prices you see that the profit or return is lower now if you look at the uh, blue arrow is showing buying the call so you're buying the call uh, we had this argument before you have the right to buy the underlying asset as much as the uh, prices the stock prices is going up you are making more money if you combine this the net exposure the combination will be the green arrow which is showing that uh, your return or your main profit is when the prices is going actually uh, down so uh, lower prices uh, here is for you better because the return here is, will be higher and 
as the prices are going up, actually uh, your uh, profit will be lower and the most you can lose is as much as the option price or premium. So as I mentioned, you can mainly do this or we can use this for the commodities. You can also uh, use this for the stocks as long as you expect the prices are going down. So you can bet that the, the prices of a specific stock is going down. That's uh, your main return uh, when the prices are going down. But if uh, your expectation is not correct, the most you can lose is as much as the option price or premium. So I promise when we talk about the put call parity, what's the argument here? The argument here is that the difference between the call and the put prices should be same as the difference between the stock price and the discounted strike price. So the strike price, that's the price which is going to happen sometimes in the uh, future. And the uh, stock price, that's the current uh, stock price. Uh, so that's the formula you see. The C is showing the call option price, S is showing the stock price, P is showing the uh, value for the uh, put option or the put option premium. So uh, what's the argument? I will talk about the logic, but before moving forward, remember uh, the put call parity is valid for European style options so we don't use this this, this for the american style option this is very common for the european style which means that uh, you cannot exercise your option uh, before expiry date so it should be just exactly at expiry date that you are able to uh, exercise your uh, option so uh, be careful with that now what is the logic <laughs> So you can rearrange the put call parity here uh, to find out that actually what you're doing, you are combining three different strategies. You are buying the shares, so you're buying the underlying asset. You are buying the put option for, that, uh, for the same asset and you're writing or selling the call option. So these, you're combining these three. And the argument here is, if you combine these three strategies, no, mod, no matter what, the value, the total value of combining this strategy should be same as the present value of the exercise price. The K, that's the, in the it's going to happen in the future. That's the stock price, but you will uh, get that uh, in the future. And one plus R to power of T showing the present value, discounted value of the ex exercise price. So let me talk more about this formula. So, what is the logic here? The logic here is if two securities have the same risk less payoff in the future, the current price, the current value also should be the same. So here in the table, I'm showing you no matter what, no matter what is the underlying assets price, as you see here, your payoff should be same as the exercise price in the future. So T time from now, T time from now, the value of your portfolio becomes K, K, K under three different scenarios. If the stock price is greater than the exercise price, if the stock price is same as the exercise price, if the stock price is less than the exercise price, all three possible scenarios will lead to the, uh, will lead to the same value in the future, which means the current value or the discounted value should be K over one plus R to power of T. Uh, so, uh, and for sure it's showing that how it's gonna happen. So I, I mentioned that you are combining three strategies. You are long, you are taking the long position for the stock. So you are buying the stock. Uh, what is the cost? The stock price, which is S. So that's how much you are paying. You are uh, taking the long position for the put option. So you're buying the put option. So what is the uh, cost for you? That's the option uh, premium or the put premium, which is P here. You are taking the short position for the call. You are the writer of the uh, call option, which means that you will receive as much as the premium of the call option, which is C. Why you have minus C there? Because actually it's not the cost. That's the uh, money you are getting. So that's the your income. So that's why I'm saying minus C because that's a negative cost. That's the uh, 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 profit for you. So your total uh, cost should be S plus P minus C. That's your total cost. So now if you go with three different scenarios you will see at the end your total uh, value of the option at expiry date will be okay again this is a proof to the put call parity which means no matter what 
the value of the uh, put option and uh, call option uh, with the same again that's a key word here that's a key point here with the same exercise price uh, should be the difference between the, uh, the value or the option premium for those should be uh, same as the difference between uh, the strike price and the uh, current uh, stock price considering the discount factor which here is uh, r uh, so uh, that's always valid true now maybe sally what if this put call period doesn't hold so if it doesn't hold there is an arbitrage opportunity it's good for you as an investor so how you can make money now let's look at this so you can make money if that put call parity doesn't hold if for example you look at the specific stock and you notice uh, actually the call price minus the put price is less than the s minus k over one plus r to power of t in this case what you should do you should buy the call and you should write the put buy the call and write the pool put and you will get risk-free uh, profit or return so that's the meaning of the arbitrage arbitrage it means that's a risk-free profit risk-free k if the opposite case happens so what you will do you will go and buy the put and you will write or sell the call option and i promise that's the uh, risk-free uh, return that you will get thank you very much that's it for today uh, we'll talk more about options and especially i uh, will talk about the option pricing using binomial model using black and Scholes model so don't forget to watch the next lesson as well have a wonderful day till then take care bye talk to you soon